I, before I get arrested, are you gonna tell me? I've been waiting for this for a long time. Guilty conscience. Tiana Gallegos and Alicia Segura weren't surprised. I knew what happened, you know, well, I knew what was reported. When state police interviewed them one by one in January. Well, we got a lot of people mad at us and they want to answer. People like Brenda Crocker. I want my title fixed. I mean, I still want my title fixed. The local motor vehicle division office had been closed for a year after the state shut it down unexpectedly. And one after the other, people discovered the titles and registrations they paid for in cash. At that Fort Sumner office didn't exist. They were bogus. It weakens our faith in the government. It weakens our faith in where you do everyday business. Before facing charges for embezzling a total of more than $40,000 between the two of them, Gallegos and Segura face police. I'm trying to find out from you what happened. I honestly don't know. I really don't. At first, Segura pled ignorance. I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Gallegos blamed glitches in the state's MBD computer system. A lot of vehicles fall out of the system. Although she didn't seem to understand her own explanation. I don't know what falling out actually means. That's what I was told. Gallegos only worked at the office for six months, trained by Segura, who worked there for more than a year. They're accused of taking money from customers, giving them new titles and registrations, and then voiding the transactions after the customers left. So then what happens to that money? It's in its cash. If it's reversed and the customer's not there, then it's probably bucketed. Okay. Is that what happened here? Just, you know what? Mm. If it happened, it happened. We don't understand what you were going Am through. Am I going to go to jail? The detectives told Segura after logging in, the MBD computer system kept track of every keystroke she made. Customer leaves, you go back an hour later, 30 minutes later, whatever, click on this person's name, refund, check payment, refund it, and it's all cash. It happened. So, Okay. So, I have two kids. I don't want to go to jail. I, I will that. pay back okay. everything. Segura came clean. I did. I pointed the transactions. Later that day, so did Gallegos. So where did that money go? Oh, with me. With who? With me. Police say it had been going on for a year before anyone noticed. So what finally tipped someone off? Just because she made a stinking mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say that. She made a mistake. Segura blamed Gallegos. While the state had oversight, the village of Fort Sumner ran the office with village employees. The village was collecting a $2 administrative fee for every transaction. But Segura says Gallegos wasn't doing that, and the village noticed when that pot of money got suspiciously low. That's why I didn't want to work there anymore. I knew it was going to catch up. They say they needed the money to support their families, but now this may be doing more to disrupt their families. Stupidity, a lot of stupidity, because I do have children. And I mean, if anything happens, my children are the ones that go with that one, so I will you know. I'll pay back the money, but just please don't let me go to jail. I have two kids. They were booked into jail two weeks later. On special assignment, Lizay Mitri, KRQE News 13.